Hey guys, this is Ebony and welcome back to my channel, Quotes and Scribes, where I share all things journaling. So today I am going to share with you my setup for March 2020 and my Hobonichi cousin. Now this is going to be a little bit more decorative. Okay, a lot more decorative than it is productive, but I promise if you stick around, there is a journaling question of the day in relation to my quote for this month, which is, luck is a matter of preparation meeting opportunity. Let's get started. So I saw this cool video about washi tape art and thought that I would try it out in my planner this month. So I'm going to take this stamp that I found at Joann's some time ago made by Prima Marketing. It's part of their paper doll collection and I can't find her on the Prima Marketing site anymore but I did find her on Amazon. So I'll make sure that I put a link in the description box so that you can find her if you're interested as well as links to all the other supplies that I'm using in my setup this month. So I inked her up with some VersaFine ink and I am just stamping her on a plain piece of copy paper. Since the Tomoe River paper in the Hobonichi is so thin, I wanted to use something that wasn't gonna add too much bulk to my planner. So now I am using this washi tape that I also found at Joann's made by Park Lane Studios, I believe. And it's this really pretty green marble with a gold foiling in a marble pattern also. And I thought it would be perfect for her wrap skirt. So I just applied the washi tape on top of the design and I'm using this Fiskars swiveling finger blade to cut out the design. And I gotta tell you, this finger blade was like a lifesaver because it, it let me get into all the little nooks and crannies easier than trying to use just a regular X-Acto knife or something like that. Now the only other thing that I did run into while I was doing this is the, the opacity of the washi tape. Because this washi was so thick and because it was also so dark, it was kind of hard to see the design underneath it. But I was able to kind of maneuver around it and change the angle a little bit and, and it helped me kind of see where I was going through the washi. So this project did take a little bit of time, but I got to tell you, it was really quite cool and fun just to see like this design emerge from this washi tape that I was using. It did get a little tedious too, um, just because the washi went down in layers. Um, I probably should have like layered it a little bit more so that maybe it would peel up all in one piece, but at the end of the day, it wasn't that bad. And voila, there is her skirt. So now I'm gonna take this washi tape from MT. It came in a package that I found on Amazon some time ago and I'm gonna use it for her leggings. So I'm also gonna use that same green to apply to her shirt so that it matches her leggings. And I'm just kind of cutting around the design and getting in all those little curves. Um, the one thing I like about this stamp is that it's kind of an, uh, kind of like an eclectic stamp. Like it's not, you know, true to form um, proportioned like a standard woman. So I thought it was just really kind of cute. And it does kind of remind me of those paper doll books that we used to buy when we were kids and used to kind of tear out the little clothing and you would attach it to the paper doll by like pushing over these little tabs over the paper doll. Um, so this was kind of fun and a throwback from the past. So of course, in true Ebby fashion, I had to make sure that her hair was purple. So I am using a purple marble washi from the same washi tape collection from Park Lane. And I am just cutting out her hair. Thank you. 
Now for her skin, I wanted to kind of go to the vintage side of things. So I decided to use this um, flyer that I got from Trader Joe's and I'm just gonna use the text to actually apply to her, to her face and her arms and her shoulders as well as her feet and legs. Now her name is Ebony, so I use my Tim Holtz Distress Ink and Blending Brush to make her a brown skin lady. And I love them because they allow you to add as much color as you'd like or as little color as you'd like by adjusting the length of the brush tips. So I'm using a planner glue pen from Prima Marketing to glue those pieces down. Now this glue pen, I also can't find anymore. The only place I can find it is on the Primo Marketing website in bulk, as if you were buying it for retail purposes, but I'll still make sure that I put the link there in case you're interested in it. So now I'm gonna use this Kuratake metallic brush pen to give her accessories some color and a little bit more shimmer. Now, after I did her feet and her shoes, I realized that it was blending in too much with her skin. So I decided to go to a green instead of a gold um, for her shoes and for her headband. And then I'm gonna use that gold just to do the inside of her wrap skirt. After I glued these pieces down, I realized that she lost a little bit of definition from the stamp. So I decided to go in with my Pigma Micron pen to add some more definition to the edges. And now I'm just gonna cut out the entire paper doll. So now I'm just kind of going to glue her in the sidebar of my monthly calendar layout. Now before I glue her in, I did want to add a little bit more embellishment to the page. So I'm taking this washi tape that I found at Michael's to go across the top and the bottom of my monthly spread. Now I tried to use a palette knife to cut my washi because I've seen some people use it and it seems to work out perfectly fine, but I found that that palette knife was just way too flimsy um, and it kind of folded a little bit too easy. So I decided to go back to my tried and true method, which is a ruler. All right, so now I'm taking that same glue pen and I am going to glue her into my planner. Then I realized that 
she didn't have a, a leg so I had to find her leg and then make sure I got that glued in and there she is in all her glory I think I shall call her Ebony okay her name is Ebony so now I'm taking a zebra mild liner in mild green to write in the word March at the top in the boxes that um, aren't being used for this month and after I did that I realized that I didn't like it that much but hey it's just for me so it doesn't matter and then I decided to take my happy planner sticker book and put in some boxes for birthdays and I'm gonna take a Hobonichi stencil to draw in like little cakes so that I can denote the fact that these are birthdays on those particular dates Now I always like to color in my little birthday cakes to match the theme of my spread. So I'm just using a Tombow marker and that Kuretake gold metallic pen to color in the cake. Now I'm gonna take this stencil from Tim Holtz and some more Distress ink so that I can add some more interest to the page. And I'm using the stencil called Splatters. And I'm just going to use that ink blending brush to stencil in that pattern on my page. And I'm choosing just random locations. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It just was wherever I felt that it would fit best. So now I'm going to take my Tombow fine liner and go over the letters. I'm just drawing some sketchy outlines around the letters so that it looks intentionally messy and I think it's okay but it'll work for my planner. So now I'm going to take another Happy Planner sticker book and use some of the dates and holidays to put in Daylight Savings Time and St. Patty's Day. And then I decided to move my habit tracker down to the bottom of the spread this month, especially since I had the space there, um, as opposed to it being in the sidebar like I did last month. So I'm just writing in my habits and then numbering the 31 days of March. So now I'm going to take my Zig Clean Color Dot Pen and mark off the habits that I know I already completed on the 1st of March. Now for my weekly spread, I like for it to be a little bit minimal because um, I, I plan on adding more stickers and things like that as the week goes on. So all I'm doing is just outlining the separation between the days with a Tombow marker. And then I'm using a Zebra Mild Liner to highlight the days of the week. Now on the sidebar, I'm just writing my to-dos and anything that I'm waiting on. So any type of shipments or packages or things like that. I do always like to record the weather in my weekly spreads also, so I just added in the weather for the second day of March. So now I'm just highlighting those sections in my sidebar so they stand out from the page just a little bit more. And now I'm gonna move on to my daily layout. Now I wanted to create another doll in a different style um, or a different design since I didn't have another Prima marketing stamp. So I decided to sketch out my own paper doll in kind of a similar style. Now for the sake of time, I skipped past the entire process so that again, I wouldn't um, make this video too long. Um, but I sketched her out on copy paper using a pencil and then I just kind of went in and um, created her dress and all of those things. Now before I glue her in, I'm actually going to add that same color splash using the Tim Holtz stencil and then I'm going to glue her on the right side of the main page that starts off the month. Now
Now I'm gonna take this colorful shapes box from the Happy Planner and I'm gonna use these boxes to do my month in review. So I'm gonna write down things that went well for the month of February, any opportunities that I had, and then any goals um, for what I wanna do differently this month. Then I'm also gonna take some washi tape and use it to outline the side of this particular page. And sorry, I know part of that was off camera, but basically I just laid it down and then I cut out the section on the opposite side so that I could still see the number two for the last day of February. So now I'm gonna take a ruler to draw in some lines down at the bottom of my page for me to write in my quote because I cannot write in a straight line to save my life. So <laughs> I am just putting those in and my quote for this month is, luck is a matter of preparation meeting opportunity. Now this quote is from Oprah Winfrey, but I believe that there's a Roman philosopher that also coined a very similar phrase. So I'm not certain who the true credit goes to, but the quote still seemed appropriate as a mindfulness reminder of the preparation I need to do this month. So here is a quick flip through of my setup for March. Journaling question of the day. Are you a master of preparation meeting opportunity or do you believe in luck? Grab your journals, make a few notes, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and have an amazing day.